Hey, good afternoon, Pops <laughs> family. Hey, Elder Fred Can too, my wife Denise. We're here to share. You know what time it is. It's Thursday. It's that time of the week to have the word of the Lord come forth and just want to bless you and encourage you as you're entering in or about halfway through maybe your, your Thursday. And uh, we just want to be a blessing unto you. So uh, let us pray. And we'll just jump right in. Hallelujah. So, Father, we do. We thank you. Thank you we honor you. We praise you. And we give you all glory. We thank you, Lord, Father, for the word that you bring forth, Lord. That, Father, it goes forth and it does not return void. We just want to lift up your name today, Father God. And we just honor yes, you, Father, Jesus. in all that we do. So, Lord, we thank you that as we go forth, Father, that your blessings, Father, overtake those yes, that will amen. be watching, those that will be listening. Thank you, Father, Jesus. we thank you, Father, for all that you do. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Amen. Well, hallelujah. <clears throat> Again, uh, it, it is Thursday, and we're here to share the word. I'm just going to share with you some of my readings and just kind of launch from there. How does that mm -hmm. sound? <laughs> so, um, I, I know that a lot of us are familiar with, uh, with the book of Ezekiel, uh, and that's where my readings was uh, a day ago or so, but something that stuck out to me that I really sense that God is, is moving into is, uh, I know Ezekiel, he, God is calling him to prophesy, prophesy to these dry bones, but as we go forth into, um, into Ezekiel 37 verse 12, through 14, I'll read that. And this is what it says. It says, therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out from your graves Amen. and bring you into the land of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 13, then you shall know that I am the Lord who will open your graves, my people, and brought and brought you up from your graves. Hallelujah. That is a great promise already yes. that God Hallelujah. is there for us. He's given Thank us a Jesus. word to speak. Remember, I think we've shared from here a couple different times that we are in the decade of pay, which means mouth, according to the Hebrew uh, calendar, mm -hmm. uh, 50, uh, 5780. Two fifty-seven, eighty-two, yeah, eighty. Year. Yeah, e either, either way, it's the decade to pay the voice, mm -hmm. the mouth. Church, you have a voice that God is wanting to fill it with. He wants mm -hmm. to just open, yes, have you yeah. open up your mouth and begin to speak and declare a word that will loosen and bring forth the blessings of God. It will take people out of that place of captivity because where they are yes, at is amen. only temporary. It looks. It looks like it's oh no, it's it's the it's the dreadfulness. But I'm telling you, church, this is only temporary because God is going to open up those places, open up those uh, yes, vaults, amen. and open up that uh, that 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 place that's being constricted to you to walk free and to walk out and bring them out. Hallelujah! But here in verse 14 it says, "And I will put my spirit in you." Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you shall live, and I will mm. I will place you in your in your own land. Hallelujah! Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! God is saying that even in that moment, He wants you to speak a word. He wants yeah. you to release that word. He wants you to set the people free. From whatever torment, whatever bondage, whatever mm -hmm. place they're at, Amen. he says that I'm opening up the graves. Church, that may look it may look real, but it's only temporary because when God is moving within His yeah, body, when He's that. moving Thank in His Jesus. church, He's got a word to be respoken. He's got a word yeah, to be released. That. That's why when He spoke to Ezekiel, He says, "Ezekiel, mm -hmm. can these bones live?" And He says, "Lord, you know." And but he's saying, but he's wanting Ezekiel to execute the word to go yes, forth into amen. the land. Hallelujah. In church, you may be looking at a circumstance and saying, Can I, can this happen? Or can this be? Mm -hmm. And God is saying, then speak the word that I'm putting inside of you mm -hmm. that will bring forth the blessing, that will bring yes, forth amen. the the break forth the bondages 
whatever's holding them back is going to be broken because it mm. says it's not my word yeah, like a right. hammer. Hallelujah. It's not my word like fire mm -hmm. that it consumes. Exactly. Hallelujah. You, God's word that is inside of yeah, you and I is yeah. that burning fire. It's that Lord, it's that word of God that just it can't be contained. It can't yep. just be quenched yes. because it's the power of God moving Amen. in you because mm -hmm. you received the power and the infilling of his spirit. Yes, God even promised that to Ezekiel. He says, I will put my spirit in you and you mm -hmm. shall live. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's speaking it to, to Ezekiel. He's speaking it to those dry bones. He's speaking it to those that have have lost hope and maybe yes, those that have amen. feel like there's no tomorrow. Hallelujah. He's saying, Thank I'm you, putting Jesus. my spirit yes, in amen. you and you shall live. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Ezekiel 34, 27 even says this. It says, it says, I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues. Yes, that word the statues means decrees. Yes, that hallelujah. I'm going to have you walk. I'm going to put my spirit within you and I'm going to have you walk in my statues. I'm going to walk in. You're going to walk in my decree. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You're going to speak it and you're going to walk in it. Because God is going to bring that promise. Yes, He's going to bring amen. the breakthrough. Hallelujah. He's going to loosen that, that place of hardship. He's going to loosen that place that once felt like you were in a captive in place of captivity. He says, I'm opening up the graves. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And my people, I'm bringing yes, them out of there. Hallelujah. He says, just walk forth out of it. He says, in verse, back over to Ezekiel 37, 13. And you shall know that I am the Lord. For when I have opened mm -hmm. your graves... Hallelujah. Maybe you've maybe you feel the, the pressure of the world closing in and around mm. you. But God says to you Amen. today, he says, I am Amen. the Lord and I will open up Ooh, your graves. He's personalizing yes, it to you and I yes. that whatever we feel trapped, whatever Amen. we feel that is causing us to be shut in, he says, yes, I'm opening hallelujah. up your graves. Amen. Oh, my people, you, I brought you up out of the graves. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because it's only going to be through the power of God yes, that amen. you're going to come hallelujah. out and you're going to walk free. Amen. And it's through the anointing of God that he's placed in yes, your life that hallelujah. you're going to be able to speak what well, he's you, called Jesus. you to speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I God. thank God Hallelujah. that we have the word of God yes. in inside Hallelujah. of us. Hallelujah. You, John 6, 63 tells us this, and I know I've shared this before, but it's worth sharing again. But in John 6, 63, you may have to share this with somebody. Somebody needs this word because they're Amen. in a place where they feel like they're they're closed in. They feel like there's mm -hmm. in a in a place of desperation. God is wanting them to break them yes, out of those hallelujah. graves, out of those places. You, but Jesus. He wants to show them that it's through His Word, yes, it's through the power hallelujah. of the Spirit that is inside of them that He's going to cause them to yes, walk out hallelujah. of those places. Hallelujah! But in John six sixty three says this: It says, "It is the Spirit who gives life." Amen. The flesh profits nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the word that I speak to you are spirit and life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word that God has Thank placed you, inside. You remember a, a few weeks ago I shared with you from John 17 verse 14 where Jesus is praying for his disciples and he tells mm -hmm. them, he tells the father, he says, I've given them your word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus has given you the very promise yes. of what was Thank meant for this earth Hallelujah. to dwell inside Amen. you and I. Thank Hallelujah. We're walking in Hallelujah. the fullness of who God created us to be when we walk in the fullness of our identity that Christ has given us. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You have the hope of glory inside of you. And God is just waiting Thank for you to you speak Jesus. a word, to yes. release a Hallelujah. word, to begin to decree that word. Amen. And it, it, the world will look like it's work trying to press mm -hmm. against you. But church, I just want to encourage you. Keep speaking the word. Mm -hmm. Keep declaring Amen. the word. Because it's the power yes. of God Hallelujah. that's going to break those change. Hallelujah. It's the power of God that's going to break down, bring down those walls. Yes, it says amen. that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, amen. but they're mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what the enemy tries to do. He tries to erect the strongholds in our life to give us the, 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 the thought of despair, uh, the, 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 the mindset that, oh, that, that this is the only my lot in life. No, God has given yes, you the power. He's amen. given you the Thank authority. You, and he says, just Praise activate you, my word Hallelujah. to bring down those strongholds that the enemy is trying to erect 
inside of you. One last scripture, and then I'll turn it over, and then we'll pray yeah, after that. But it's found in 2 Corinthians yeah. chapter 3. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. And this is what the word of, of God says. And it says, who also made us sufficient? You, you probably have to go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and maybe pick up in verse 4 and 5. I'll read it. Uh, I'll read from verse four. And it says, and we have such trust through, through Christ towards God that, that no, excuse me, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is mm -hmm. from God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad I went back and read that because I think that is important. Verse six, mm -hmm. who also made us sufficient as ministers yes. of the new covenant, mm -hmm. hallelujah, Amen. not of the letter, Amen. but of the spirit. Yes. For the letter hallelujah. kills, but the spirit gives Amen. life, hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah. That word that I want us to pick up on is sufficient. Means It says that he's made us sufficient, meaning he's rendered you fit. Yes. He, uh, it also yes. says he's equipped one with adequate power. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Church, Hallelujah. you've been equipped with the adequate Amen. power because you're Hallelujah. filled with the presence yes. of God. You're filled with the Thank spirit you, of God. Jesus. Remember Hallelujah. Ezekiel says, I will put my spirit in you and you shall live. Hallelujah. I'm speaking Hallelujah. that to someone today because there's someone that is in a place yes. of despair, yes. that is in a place Hallelujah. of hopelessness, but God Ura says, I put my spirit inside of you and I will, and, and you shall live. Amen. And hallelujah. And he's going to bring you into that, your own land, he says. And he goes forth yes, as hallelujah. he speaks it, as Ezekiel is moving. And I believe God is calling for the Ezekiels to rise up yes, in this time. Amen. He's calling for the prophets to speak forth. Oh, I'm not a prophet, no, Fred. I'm not, I don't prophesy. God has put a word inside of you. He's looking for you to just release yes, it. Hallelujah. hallelujah. That's the prophet it is you speak the word of God and you release the word of God. You don't know if it's going to be a timely word for somebody or mm -hmm. somebody's looking for something to be an encouragement. Amen. But God is putting the word inside yes. of you. Hallelujah. John 17 verse 14. God, I've given them your word. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's here. It's mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. For out of the abundance of our yes. heart, the Hallelujah. mouth speaks. If Jesus. you've been putting the word of God inside of you, then what you're releasing is what God has placed inside of you. It's the overflow. Oh, there it is. The overflow of what God mm -hmm. is doing. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged today. Be empowered by his word because this word works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It does not fail. Amen. It's tested. Yes. It's been tested Hallelujah. through the test of time. Hallelujah. And it's still, it says that the heaven and earth will pass away, mm -hmm. but my word will not. Yes. It will continue Amen. to Hallelujah. go forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. I'll stop right there. I'm going to turn it over to Denise. And Hallelujah. after that, we're going to pray. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Fred Hallelujah. touched on the scripture that the Lord had me share today. And it's 2 Corinthians 10. And we're going to start in verse 3. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, Mm -hmm. We do not war according to the flesh. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stop there. This is a familiar scripture, but sometimes we need to look at it again. For though we walk in the flesh, this mm -hmm. natural yep. Um, yep. place, we do not war according to it. Hallelujah. Amen. According to the flesh. That's For right. the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. Hallelujah. We're yes. going to have to take a hold and believe that today for ourselves. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Hallelujah. Yep. Hallelujah. Yep. Casting down arguments. Is there yep. a mar argument or a thought in your mind that tries to prevail? Maybe you got a bad report, mm -hmm. a bad report mm -hmm. of your health, a bad report of your child or of your finances. But there, there's, um, we need to cast down those arguments Amen. and rise above. Stay in your seat in those heavenly places and declare yes, the word of the Lord over mm -hmm. your situation. Yep. Casting down arguments in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge yes. of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. There's many things in our day today that try to take precedence over God himself. That the, the world is becoming arrogant and bold and will declare things that are of no 
um, no help. They're, they're declaring things of destruction or um, things that should not be. But the Lord said that we can cast those things. It says casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity in the obedience of Christ. How, because that's where it starts. It takes that one thought and if you met... And if you begin to meditate on that thought, the Bible says it begins to root or begins to place seed in us. Yep. But we got to take mm -hmm. it, hallelujah, in that place, in that thought, hallelujah. The Amen. scripture says in Psalms, let, um, let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. So even in our thoughts, we got to give it mm -hmm. over to the mm -hmm. Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it says, bring every thought mm -hmm. into captivity in the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. We have to bring it before the throne of God. And you know, if the, if the Lord says you're healed, you're healed. If he said your son and daughter is delivered, hallelujah, they are delivered. Hallelujah. Because in Luke, he says that I've given you power over all power of the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. And nothing by any means should hurt you. And I'm just going to read the whole thing while we mm -hmm. over there. It says, behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the Lord equipping you. He's made you powerful. He's made you a person of strength. Hallelujah. A person. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. With his power, that power of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Hallelujah. Also in Luke 9, it says that he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. He mm -hmm. sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I just want to empower you today. If you wonder, may, you might be wondering, I don't know, you know, I have issues of myself. Well, give them to the Lord and, and bring them before the Lord of God and, and stand on your feet. You have something in you that can be given to others. Hallelujah. And so I think of... Um, the word of God, when he says, do not fear little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So I thank the Lord today. And sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to have to pray and bring those circumstances under the jurisdiction of the kingdom of heaven, under the timing yes. of God concerning the will and purpose for your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what has to be done when there's many things happening like it is today. We got to come under that place where we were met, where we were brought to. We were bought there by the blood of Jesus. We were bought with a pr high price was paid that we may be free. Amen. And we have to remind those powers that be or any thing in the atmosphere, in your atmosphere, we need to call those things and begin to say, I'm a child of God. You, th These things cannot be here. And mm -hmm. I bring everything, my family, maybe it's your family or these circumstances under the jurisdiction of the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let Jesus be in the very midst of your circumstances Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we're going to pray. Amen. Yes, let's get it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ooh, praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. So, Father, Hallelujah. today yep. we thank you. Mm. We stir the Holy Spirit up in our brothers yes. and sisters, Hallelujah, God. Jesus. You gave us power from on high, authority from thank on high. Yes. It was your pleasure to mm -hmm. give us the kingdom of God, and we yes. rebuke the powers of darkness that will come up against your children today. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty Hallelujah. name of Jesus, that war, war we don't war Christ. according Christ. to flesh and blood, but we war according to the Thank power you, of Hallelujah. the blood of Jesus. Yes. Those things, that land God mm -hmm. has given, the jurisdiction of heaven. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We pray yes. in every circumstance and everything coming before us today. Mm -hmm. And we bring every thought in 
captivity in the obedience of Christ in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We take a hold of every sickness, every demonic thing, every spell or evil Mm -hmm. judgment spoken over the listener's life or their family. Mm -hmm. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We cast it off and we send it to where the Lord Jesus would have it go. We loose the spirit of the living God, the Holy Ghost and power, the healing power of the blood of Jesus over Mm -hmm. each one in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for every one's body. Father, the systems of their body come under the jurisdiction of heaven and operate operate as God has intended for it to operate it. Creator God. Jehovah Hosein, you are God, our creator. Hallelujah. We Amen. pray come in the systems of our body and bring that healing in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Even down to the RNA, the DNA, the very cellular components of our body, we speak life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank you, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah for your mighty works, your miraculous power within our being. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Yes. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So his name is upon his children and they are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Have a blessed (laughs) rest of your day. Have Have a blessed rest of your week. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Have a great day. Have a great week. So God bless you.